that European grids are actually mostly in crisis because they're putting a lot of wind in, which is a short-term fix, and a lot of solar, but with no facility to store that energy. And increasingly, if you look at the electricity prices, it used to be 50 pounds per megawatt hour. Now they're up in the five or 600. I've heard of 2,000 pounds per megawatt hour, 3,000 pounds per megawatt hour when we were buying it from Norway. And I think 3,300 pounds per megawatt hour when the beast from the east hit. So even though batteries benefit from capacity payments, frequency response payments, and the balancing payments, the main revenue comes from arbitrage. Because ultimately, if you can take energy out the grid at zero or one pound per megawatt and feed it back in when it's 100 or 500 pounds per megawatt, you are onto a great business. As anyone can see, energy independence is a significant priority for anyone, especially for the European Union. Energy independence is driven by a large penetration of electricity in final energy consumption. As a matter of fact, today, oil and gas represent 57% of final energy consumption in the European Union. That growth is driven by new generators, namely by renewable fuels such as water, wind and the sun. Nevertheless, these fuels, once transformed in electricity, are intermittent, which means that on one hand they do not produce when demand requires electricity, and on another hand they exert significant stress on the electricity grid, which is a physical reality. These stresses translate into grid frequency imbalances and voltage mismatch on the line. Rather than grids just running off coal-fired power stations and electricity prices being low, they're increasingly a mosaic of different technologies. It is Megawatt Mosaic's job to develop projects on behalf of third parties who will pay for the construction, pay for the development and reward us in very, very high fees to knit the grid together through a series of battery projects and solar projects. The addition of BES allows to match supply and demand of electricity from the renewable generator to the end user, whether industrial, commercial or retail, and stabilize the grinding balance, frequency and voltage. For one megabyte of renewable, you require 30% of best capacity. Therefore, BES is a key asset that enables a shift toward a net zero target by 2050. If the coping of massive BES and renewable allows to meet both a net zero target and energy independence one, it is equally paramount to consider electricity prices and volatility on electricity prices. Because wind and sun are free fuels, contrary to gas and oil, for instance, the marginal cost of production of a unit of electricity for these two generators is close to zero. This means that the levelized cost of energy of these generators, and especially solar PV, is the lowest one in the market, therefore the cheapest form of generating electricity. However, because of its intermittency, that electricity does not have the same value than a flexible base load generation. The addition of BES on a massive scale allows to create a flexible base load shape that meets demand profiles. From an economic perspective, the levelized cost of energy plus levelized cost of storage must be equal or lower than the levelized cost of energy of a conventional generator, such as combined cycle gas turbine, which provides flexible base load. Outside of the 350 ppm team, which is working from within Megawatt Mosaic, all of the Megawatt Mosaic team are Europeans, French, Belgium, Spanish, Portuguese, Italians, and we're going to be hiring other teams from Romania, Bulgaria, uh, Croatia. And that is because increasingly, as we've left the EU, if you want to do well in Europe, you need Europeans. Once all development risks are mitigated, we have an active market of buyers in the EU. Utilities, online firms, infra funds, family offices, renewable funds. A short turnaround of nine months with a low initial development budget and a large exit multiple. And for that, we are securing an offtake agreement with a Luxembourg-based development fund. We are currently raising £750,000 and that's going to give us a runway of about 30 projects to get going. 
and those projects we estimate will provide the company with a return of 1,174% in the first stage, which is the feasibility study. Obviously, there are other fees that we can charge as we go on to develop the projects, hopefully construct and operate the projects for the family offices. Mosaic belongs to construct and operate best and PV assets, all with a view of securing long-term operational asset management contracts, thereby generating long-term stable EBITDA that can be reinvested in new development. And now I've been in this sector since 2008, but if you want a successful project, you really need tacit understanding of the pre-construction development phase. And if you have that, then people will pay handsomely for it. Over the past three years, this team has built a portfolio of 41 projects, meaning 360 megawatts of hybrid solar PV plants across Italy and Iberia. Despite a very demanding environment, COVID, Ukraine war, causing commodity prices, we have not lost a single project and we have monetized our first project at the 48% IRR. We have been developing best and solar projects successfully for the last three years and have completed the first 16 projects for third parties. The only difference now is that we are doing it for megawatt for sites, for ourselves and our investors. And we can scale the business at a rate the market demands. So once you've satisfied yourself that this team has tacit knowledge of the sector, click the link below, download the information memorandum, have a good read, and then get in contact with me, and then we can move towards a call and discussing the business further. <laughs>